Happy Thursday! We are coming at you live for another episode of Best Schools in Dallas and today we're at Brian Adams High School aka VA and we're here to learn about their early college program and show off their awesome school. So come with me and we're actually going to meet our principal and vice principal. This is Mr. Bott and Mr. Cabrera. Great to meet you guys. Welcome to VA. And Thanks for joining us. Awesome. Can you tell us a little bit about VA and what makes it awesome? Yeah, VA is just there's nothing like it. So at VA we're a leadership academy. And we're really teaching the students of today how to be the leaders of tomorrow. Our early college is focused on preparing our future teachers, so we take that very seriously. We're excited to offer that opportunity to all of our students. And the kids get an associate's degree by the time they graduate. What could be better? It's fantastic. Awesome. Okay, I think we have some students right over here Absolutely. that we're going to go Just meet. Right so, um, can you tell us a little bit about the students we're about to go meet? Yeah, these two are current sophomores in our early college. Uh, they do a great job. Um, they are sophomores taking college courses. Sophomore in Brian Adams Leadership Academy. Leadership Academy. Guys, okay, can you tell me, Pedro, what interested you in being part of the early college program here at VA? Well, I joined early college to save my parents money and save myself time. Save myself two years, mm -hmm. which I can use, which I can use for accelerating my chance, time to get my bachelor's. Awesome, that's great. Saving two years, that's a big deal right there. And okay, Claire, can you tell me um, what would you say to other students who might be interested in coming and joining this program at VA? That it is a that it is a very um, big decision as to if you're willing to take on the work and responsibility that comes with the program. But overall, it's very beneficial once you get done with it to where you get your associate's degree and you don't have to worry about those two years of student college that you'll be wasting in with that degree, you don't even have to follow through with teaching. You could go into any career or anything you want and those credits will pass over. Um, even though it is difficult at first, once you learn how to manage everything and um, know how to just work through everything that's gonna be given to you as far as work, in the class in the extra classes I think it's a very good decision and wise decision that will help both save money and help your parents out and provide a better and brighter future for you as a kind of as a backup plan or something to fall back on if you have really no idea what you want to do or if things don't, might not go your way in life Awesome. Okay, so can you tell me what are you planning to do with the associate's degree you're going to get in high school? What are you going to do with that? Um, well, originally I wanted to be a fashion designer, but as I kind of go through this program, I'm kind of thinking about being a special ed administrator so I can help um, kids like me since I have dyslexia, but I want to be able to help them get their 504s, get their accommodations, and make it so that they have that they could learn the same way or learn or be just as smart as anybody else in the classroom. That's wonderful. I love that. What about you, Pedro? What do you want to do with your associate's degree that you're going to get in high school? Well, I'm, gonna, I'm going to continue in the pathway of the early college mm -hmm. and become a teacher. And then because you know, I want to help other students just how teachers helped me mm -hmm. like growing up. And I, they're half of the reason that I'm not successful, mm -hmm. so I want to help out other awesome. young kids. Awesome. You guys are both so giving. I love it. Thank you so much. It was great to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank All you. right. So next, we're going to head on up. Is that right? This is the uh, parent as well as the student, but a quick story about these students. Uh, we have a professional development for our teachers. So we decided to go ahead and get the uh, students in on that. Uh -huh. So there's nothing like having a, a PD for all the teachers. You can see a bunch of students in there as well, and they're working hand in hand to uh, become better at wow. their craft. And uh, it's amazing to see the teachers actually get a lot from the students. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's really cool. Like, that yes, is very unique right there. Awesome. 
and so I believe we're going to speak to, we're going to have you guys come on down, and we have Mark and his mom, Alma, and they're going to tell us a little bit about your experience in the early college program, is that right? Mm -hmm. Great. Oh, in eighth grade, I was like a really disobedient kid, I tried to do things in my own ways, but I was really unsure like joining the early college program because I knew I was going to be facing like challenges so over the time like I was pushing myself I was pushing myself and like try I was pushing myself and doing started doing better in the classes and plus I, I was committed to the program because it gave me like opportunities that I never had before and it surrounded me with um, motivated students and so that's when I started like pushing myself to the limit and I had to uh, thank the teachers and the students for um, helping me out in the and stuff. Um, me as a mom, um, the first time I um, heard about the program was in eighth grade. Uh, Mr. Cabrera, he came across uh, from us and he, uh, I explained to him about the little situation I had uh, concerns about at that time, what I was going through my son. And Mr. Cabrera was the one that he assured me that um, the program would change him as a, a um, becoming a positive leader throughout the community. Um, now that what I'm seeing, uh, he's been in the program for two years. He has improved a lot. Um, the teachers, the staff, uh, the principals, the counselors, and I, we all work as a team um, to try to motivate him. And well, they all work with all the students, try to motivate the students and to help them and uh, define strategies and um, of the problems they ha are having at that time. Um, so. If he stays focused and track, and uh, he'll be the first to graduate out of the family uh, from high school. Mm -hmm. That's incredible, guys. <laughs> yes, and um, and have a college degree. Mm -hmm. Wow. So it sounds like this program is making a huge impact on, on both of your lives. Yeah, really. That's awesome. Thank you guys so much for sharing. Yeah, Mark, do you want to come with us upstairs and show us a little bit? Look at these beautiful doors we're getting. And, okay, so it's in partnership with Eastfield College. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, yeah, so a few years ago we were trying to decide what would be the best fit for our campus. Mm -hmm. And Eastfield is right down the street from us. They've been so collaborative and um, all, all along the way they really helped us map out the crosswalk, which is the set, the set of courses that the students would take. And uh, just working hand in hand with them has been amazing. Here's our conference room. Teacher and student here. Hi. Hi guys. Hello. Hi, and we have Miss Adams and Emily. Is yes. that right? Awesome. Okay, and Dom's your teacher here. Yes, Can you tell I us am. a little bit about your experience and what makes BA one of the best schools in Dallas? Um, so my experience at BA has been um, just awesome. I've been here for four years. Um, I am the English one team lead. I'm the soccer coach. I have an advisory um, and I'm also uh, teaching early college. Uh, so I think some of the programs at BA that make it awesome are that we have different opportunities for kids. So like the early college program allows students of all skill levels to um, choose a path where they can get a high school diploma and an associate's degree within four years. So we're taking the skills, um, kids with different levels of skills and we're pushing them all to this like higher level of learning. Um, and we have our leadership academy um, and uh, what that is is we have an advisory class um, Tuesday through Friday and we see those kids for like 30, 45 minutes a day and um, we work on like those soft skills for life and how to be a leader and how to do presentations. And as sophomores, they actually present their learning to a panel of teachers and community members. So they get up and they explain a project that they've done in a class, and they explain how they've learned and what they've learned from that project and how that's going to help them in their future. So it really helps with that metacognitive process of learning. And um, it's really meaningful to the students, especially after they do it. They're like, 
that was cool. So um, that's another one of our, the great programs that we have here, um, just to give students different opportunities and paths for success. Um, and it's just a great community. Like everyone comes here, they're ready to work, they're driven to be successful, whether it's teachers or students. Um, everyone's just striving to be the best that they can be, and that's a really like encourages. Um, Encur we encourage each other and so it like fosters this really positive environment. So um, yeah, VA is the best. Fantastic, awesome. And you teach English one, is that yes. right? And Emily is actually one of your students. She is. Great, and I heard that you play soccer and you coach yes, soccer. Yes, I coach soccer. Great. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell us a little bit about your experience here at BA overall and then also as part of the early college program? My experience here at BA has been great and in the early college program also has been great. I just love being in it because you just do so much more than what other schools incorporate incorporate like we just do more projects and they're more hands-on and challenging and here like the teachers at BA and the administration just they're like family and they're just so nice to you and it's just great. Great what has been your favorite experience here so far? Um, definitely the projects that we do in class because they're just very hands-on and just make you think more. Awesome. Thank you ladies so much it was great to meet you. Thank you. Part of the early college is applying to this program, is that right? Yes, yeah, yes. can you tell us a little bit about the application process and what that looks like? Yeah, so uh, students can, and parents can go on to our website, uh, Brian Adams High School, and they can apply directly from our website. Um, when we uh, look for applications, we're not looking for grades, attendance. We're not necessarily looking at what occurred before this. We're looking at the student now and what their future is going to be. Mm -hmm. Again, we are taking the students of today and building them into the leaders of tomorrow. Specifically for the early college, we're looking to take the kids of today and build them into the leaders of tomorrow in the classroom. So again, go onto the web page for Brian Adams High School, and on the front page you can go and click for uh, our early college application. Great. I love it. Awesome. I think we have one more student to we speak do. to. She looks like she's working though. Oh, good student. lovely hallway and wing you guys have. It looks, really is it newer? College. Yeah. It is. It was built a couple years ago. Tara, right? Yeah. Awesome. Great to meet you. And now you're part of the early college. And it'll, give you, it'll save a lot of time and it'll save money for sure. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And what have been some of your favorite things about being part of this program? On Mondays, our college professors are here. So Ms. Lewis and Ms. Rivera have us go into the library What have been some of the special activities and projects you've done? Um, right now we're working on a lead canvas for a lady called Miss McCallum. Right, and now um, I know you're a part of some extracurricular activities and clubs. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Um, I'm part of the VA theater company and I'm going to be trying out for soccer. So, and I think you were telling me a little bit about a UIL. Um, yeah, um, we're doing a new thing this year called UIL Film, mm -hmm. and it's a group of us eight, and we're going to be recording and acting in it. Mm -hmm. The main part of it is we're going to be editing the film and recording most of it around the school or around other areas. That's incredible. Like, that is such a unique thing. That's awesome. Awesome. Anything else you'd like to share with us about VA and why you love it here? <laughs> but you love it here? Yes. Great. <laughs> awesome. Okay, well... Thank you guys so much for having us. Thank you for coming. This is awesome. We appreciate you. Um, definitely one of the best schools in Dallas. And yeah, well, anything else you'd like to share with us as we wrap up? Well, the main thing is that <clears throat> our incoming ninth graders will probably take it, their first college class as ninth graders. Our current tenth graders are working with um, six different professors. So um, just know that when you sign up for our program, you will take college classes. That is the expectation. Um, you will get through. We will help you. Um, but you have to want it. You have to want that college experience. Awesome. Yeah, so elite things are happening here at VA. We, we'd love to have y'all. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for what you do. You're doing great work. And it's been another awesome episode of Best Schools in Dallas. Tune in next time.